Hey, this is Rez, and today we're going to talk about linear layouts. And you know what? Rather than adding a linear layout to our current relative layout, we're just going to start modifying this relative layout to be a linear layout. Okay? So this is going to be good for you in two ways. One is figuring out what the hell linear layouts are. And secondly, figuring out how I could change this main layout that's set up for me whenever I create this automatically with the Android um, IntelliSense. <laughs> so if we go up here, you really have to get out of the design and go into text because I don't know any way to change it in the design um, part here. Like if you right click it or something, I don't know. I, I'd rather not delete it because you might just cause unnecessary issues and so forth. So, on. so let's just go to the XML part and all you gotta do is just say hey this object or this layout is not a relative layout but it's a linear layout. So if we start typing, the IntelliSense will pop up and tell you, hey, this is what you want. And I say, yep, that's what I want. And everything becomes into a linear layout. Note, it still gives you an error. So we just have to put our mouse over it and we see what the error is. Well, hey, silly, you didn't tell me what kind of orientation this has. Is it going horizontally or is it going vertically? And so forth, so on. Now if we read the whole message, it says wrong orientation, no orientation specified, and the default is horizontal, yet this layout has multiple children where at least one has layout with match parent, blah, 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 blah. So some of these layout parts I told you, which belongs to the layout param, saying, well, you're trying to do this, but it doesn't make sense because the default is horizontal and the way you set it up, it looks as if it's vertical or et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the first thing we could do to fix any of this is, well, let's go ahead and add this default thing. By the way, you probably don't even need to type this whole Android thing. So if I start saying orientation, it's going to show me everything that has the word orientation in there, right? A Android orientation, Android layout center horizontal, blah, 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 right? In our case, we want to set the orientation to, let's say, vertical, all right? And now we have no errors, okay? Why is this? Because these were kind of set up to be below something or, you know, uh, like this part. You see this? Below this, do that, etc. So having it as horizontal, this part which it says, hey, it has to be below that, kind of didn't make sense, right? So if we switch this, let's just delete the equals, put the quotes. Man, the intelligence sometimes don't work. So let's just put back horizontal, press enter. If it's not creating you any errors, perfect. If it is, there's an issue again because it's trying to do something with it which doesn't make sense to it. Okay, and again, you'll see that most of our stuff are kind of disappearing here. And this is because our image button is taking the whole left while the middle and the right are kind of being forced into a tiny spectacle of nothingness, right? So one thing we could do to fix this is just to come to our button and say, well, first of all, let's see. Uh, well, first of all, we don't need this layout below, by the way, because uh, linear layout just places them one after the next in that direction. I wish I could draw this for you guys. I don't have a pencil or pen here. Anyway, it's fine. So it basically draws them into... This is being horizontal, so it's in two columns, right? One after the next in each column, okay? So uh, here the width is kind of taking too much. Let's just do wrap content. We'll come back into all of this. And you know what? Just to show you how these things are placed, we're going to change this. Rather than wrap, we're going to match the parent. So it's going to take the whole space that the parent takes, right? And take off the margin up top. Why would we want that? It makes no sense. Right. Okay, so now if you look at it, I should have probably made you guys a brand new thing, which wouldn't show you these extra stuff you probably don't really need to care about, like this. Now, if you look at this button, it's saying, hey, I'm inside of a linear layout, which is placed horizontally. I want to make sure that my width Currently, it just wraps whatever's inside, and that's enough space for it. 
We will eventually talk about the width and height and how to manipulate on an episode on its own, but for now, we're going to stick to understanding linear layout. And for the height, I want you to take whatever linear layout takes. So if we select our linear layout, uh, let's go back into the design to make sure you guys see when I selected it. It's actually taking this whole blue part, if you notice. This is my whole linear layout. But obviously there's a bit, a bit of margin that we could play around with. So paddings and whatnot. <clears throat> By the way, we'll talk about paddings and margins. If you don't know paddings, it's basically inside while margin is kind of outside. So if we remove this, you'll see that our whole button is taking the whole space rather than putting a little padding before using it. Anyway, coming back here, that'd be for another episode. Coming back here, we notice a couple. So our uh, image button is taking the whole left side. Then we have our hello world. Again, hello world is squeezing out my edit text. That's another issue. My edit text is outside, if you notice, or it's kind of squeezed in into being nothing. We could do the same thing. Well, layout width, A, I don't want you to take the whole parent's layout. I want you just to wrap the content that you require. Okay? What else? Layout height, you could do that or just match it. Who cares? For now, we're just kind of learning. So again, you'll see doing it. Now, if you guys understood so far everything we learned, there's a problem up here and we're missing a bit of the space, right? Now, I'll give you a second, figure it out. What should I remove in this text view to make that work? And if we go line by line, you see the text. We don't want to change that. We see the ID. We don't, we don't want to touch that. Hey, look, there's a margin, 33. Remove that. Now we take the whole space. Layout should be below A. What the hell does that even mean for uh, horizontal layout, horizontal linear layout? And the align parent end, we don't need that either. And one last thing we have, it's layout margin end. We don't need that either, right? So you should look like something like this. Now it's taking, you should take the same amount as your um, button. Notice the button also has some padding. These are the default values. Otherwise, they're both exactly the same size. So, uh, and the same goes for this. Obviously, notice that they're not taking a good amount, right? This is specific to this. And I'm just going to set everything to wrap content for a second. Match parent, change that to wrap content. And let's go here and make sure the edit te uh, my edit text box doesn't do so much space again. Wow, my English is getting worse as I talk. <laughs> okay. Again, so all three things are just wrapping the amount of space they require. So the button's taking that much, this is taking that much, and this is taking that much. And if you look inside the linear layout with the dashed lines, you could see how it's spaced it up. And if we go and change this to vertical, because they're all wrapping, it's going to be easy for you to bring it up all down, right? Now, so here we learn how to do the linear layout, basically vertical and horizontal. Now, knowing that plus knowing XML parenting system or XML, you know, having stuff inside of it, we're going to do one which is using these linear layouts and using the XML style, we're going to create a set of keys for, let's say, calculator or bank keys or password thing. Okay. So in the next video, we'll do that and we'll see how we go at it. What should we see or how should we set it up? Alright, see you guys then. Subscribe, like me, comment, tell me what you need, tell me everything guys. Cheers.